everyone, welcome to Brampton Traveller. My name is Gianni. As I'm preparing for my next uh, bike trip, I thought it'd be the perfect occasion to show you uh, how I pack everything that I take with me on my trips. Uh, this will be a series that will cover how I pack my clothes, what I take with me, uh, the gadgets that I carry, of course, my camping gear, and finally, the last video will cover how I pack the bike safely uh, for a train, or in my case, this time, for a plane journey. In the first video, I explained uh, all the clothes that I take with me, uh, showed you why uh, I choose certain type of clothes, and uh, explained uh, how I pack them. If you're interested in watching that, there will be a link uh, at the end of this video. In the second part, I will discuss everything that I put in my backpack. Remember, these videos are about uh, packing all the things ready for a plane journey or for a train journey. The way I pack things for a flight, as opposed to the way I pack things uh, for the time I'm cycling, are very different. In a future video, I will show you how I distribute my things on the bike. But for now, let me just explain how I prepare things in order to get to the starting point of my trip. What you see here is everything that I will carry on the plane in my backpack. As a general idea, all the expensive items that you carry, the gadgets, the electronics, your documents, money, are carried on the plane with you. Of course, remember that while flying, some of the items are either uh, allowed as carry-on luggage, but forbidden to check in, or vice versa. Things like sharp objects, uh, liquids, uh, which are over a certain amount, uh, tools for the bike, will not be allowed on the plane. So always make sure that you pack those things uh, accordingly. Let's have a closer look at what I bring in my backpack. There's my down sleeping bag. And the orange compression bag that you see next to it is where I put uh, something which I couldn't show you here because it's used uh, while I'm filming now. The gimbal that I take with me in order to take shots with my mobile phone. Compression bags are always very useful when you're packing. Uh, this specific bag has got some padding inside, so I think it's ideal for something which needs uh, a little more protection. What we're looking at now is the Anchor Solar Power Light. This is the two panel version. I believe uh, they also sell a three panel version if you want something a little bit heavier and that charges your gadgets quicker. I've used it in my latest trips and I must say it's been uh, very, very useful in helping me uh, keep my phone, for example, or battery packs charged. While in the past I often had to try and find uh, a cafe or a restaurant and ask if I could uh, plug in uh, my gadgets, this solar panel gives me the freedom uh, to not having to do that, uh, at least not as frequently. I haven't tested these in uh, unfavorable condition when it's cloudy, but in a recent test in sunny condition, uh, I just timed uh, how long it takes to charge my uh, iPhone 6s Plus, for example, and in 40 minutes uh, it gained a 10% charge. This is not bad when you consider that on a sunny day this is going to be exposed for 7-8 hours directly in the sun, and it's always connected to my power bank uh, battery. Normally in the evening I would just uh, uh, plug in uh, my phone or my GoPro batteries uh, to my power bank, and while I sleep, you know, these will be charging and uh, ready in the morning. Below we see my old iPhone, the one that I usually carry in my pocket, and something that maybe I shouldn't be telling you. Uh, but one thing that I do is uh, I keep old credit cards which have expired, and uh, I use them. You know, when I go on trips, I usually take uh, a fake wallet with me, which has got some cash and has got all my fake cards. And uh, I never had to use this, but should it get to the point where you're being mugged, unless any of you are doing it, that is, you have the option to give, uh, you know, a wallet which has got a little cash in it, otherwise it's worthless. Finally, right below, you can see all my documents stored in a Ziploc bag. There's a pair of sunglasses that I sometimes wear while I'm cycling. I normally do not travel when it is dark, but I do carry two small lights that can be attached to the bike. These particular ones uh, are rechargeable via a short USB cable. I also use the white light in my tent, so when I'm camping and it gets dark, this is a perfect light to have with you. To the right side, we see the bundle that we prepared in our previous video. That's where I carry half of my clothes. The other half, as I said, is what I will wear during the flight. I didn't mention it on the previous video, but this bundle uh, functions as a perfect pillow as well at night. Moving below is my yellow chamois leather. I found out that chamois leather is a perfect towel uh, for camping. 
Uh, to me, it is much better uh, than, of course, normal towels, which take a long time to dry, and also better than some of the synthetic uh, material that are sold uh, as a camping alternative to towels. Chamois leather is very good at absorbing water, so with a small uh, cloth like that, you're able to uh, dry your body after a shower. It is very light when dry, and a simple twist will wring out uh, the excessive water quickly. Next to it you see the small tripod I carry and the chest harness for my GoPro camera. The battery packs, uh, normally I would carry just one, but on my next trip uh, there will be quite a long stretch where maybe electricity will not be easily available. So on this occasion, in order to make sure that my GoPro camera, my phone uh, are well charged, I will carry two. You can see the selfie stick to the right, and next to it is a pouch that contains uh, the GoPro camera, uh, the extra batteries, and a few spare SD cards uh, that I use with the GoPro. This small orange compression bag that you see is where I would carry some extra cables, adapters, etc. There's the unmissable brim hat with flag. And the six boxes uh, below it uh, is something that I, I normally don't take with me, but again, uh, because this trip uh, will involve uh, some remote areas where there might not be uh, much food available, I will carry these biscuits, which are a replacement uh, for a meal. On a Brompton, I never take uh, cooking stuff uh, with me. Uh, because again that will take a lot of space and some more weight but on this trip I will still bring uh, a little pot uh, and a lid in case I can take some food with me or if I have a chance you know to heat up the food somewhere the little green bundle is a little rain jacket that I can wear if it's uh, raining suddenly or if it's windy it's very quick to take out of my tea bag and wear Depending whether you're traveling, you might need a hydration pack and the one I will carry is a 3 liters one. And the light blue one is another large compression bag that I might use, uh, for example, to put my laundry in, etc. Also, do bring with you always several uh, empty plastic bags. Uh, these are very light, they do not take any space. They're very useful uh, any time that you want to keep your things uh, even drier, if it's in very wet conditions. Uh, let's say you have some rubbish that you gather while you're cycling and there's no place to dispose of it, again you'll be able to use these bags until you find the proper place to get rid of it. To conclude, uh, as you see, this is my main backpack that I use. I have explained in other videos that it is something uh, very, very light. You know, you don't need any heavy uh, backpack with the metal frames, etc. This is a 45 liters uh, backpack, which is what I find is a good size to put everything uh, that I need. Um, and below it, uh, as you see, there's the two uh, yellow and green uh, covers. These are rain covers. One is for the backpack itself. The other one is the cover of the tea bag. I would also carry with me a set of uh, Ziploc uh, bags. Uh, these again do not take any space. They're extremely light and can be useful in all kinds of situations. For example, if you want to store some extra food that you're not able to consume right away, uh, you'll be able to use the uh, zip bags, uh, store it there and put it together with the rest of your luggage without being worried to make a mess. I did not include it in this video, but of course do bring uh, the toiletries that you will need during the trip. It is time now to fill our backpack, starting with the larger bundles, uh, the sleeping bag, the clothes, everything that is loose, the cables, uh, the GoPro, you know, accessories. Try to keep things together by function. So my GoPro things will be, as I said, in a soft pouch. And for all the cables, adapters, try to keep them together uh, in a soft uh, pouch. This will make it so much easier to keep things organized and not to lose things uh, while you're traveling the backpack is not completely full. It's got some room, you know, to put other things. Once you will start cycling, uh, there will be things that will go into this backpack as well. Um, of course, you have the empty tea bag, which is packed together with the bike, and I will show you in the next video. So that will take a lot of the stuff, uh, but also, you know, for example, the bicycle bag and a few other items will be put together in the backpack. So it's always a uh, good advice to make sure that you don't stuff it uh, too full at this stage. I hope you found some useful advice in this video. As always, if you have uh, any other questions, do leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. Do subscribe to my channel, where in the next few weeks I will upload the final video of this series, where I will show you how I pack the bike and all the remaining things that I take with me.